Hi, I'm Sean Patrick, the host of Sean Sludge, and first of all, I'd like to thank you all for watching today, and also a big thank you to those of you who bared with me yesterday as I uh, spoke of some of my thoughts. Now, I try not to force my opinions or my thoughts on anyone, and I usually try to leave my beliefs out of my work, but I do think it's important to preach happiness and loving everyone and uh, peace and just that kind of stuff in general. Uh, after all, if everyone went around walking negatively and hating on everybody else, you just wouldn't get much out of life. And I know it's cliche, but it's so true. Life is short, and you almost have to live every day as though it's your last. And if you think about it that way, most likely you're going to be more of a loving person. And that reggae music, it just makes you feel so good. Or maybe it's the stuff the band's smoking. Hmm. Anyways, now on to today's topic, and it's a place where you can find love, and you can also find some negativity. You can find out what everyone you know is doing, who they're dating, where they're eating, what time they got on the toilet, and what time they got off. Any guesses? Yep, that's right, it's Facebook. And back in 2010, half of all Americans had a Facebook page. That means now with two years gone by, everyone in the U.S. probably has a Facebook page, except for my one-year-old son and everybody in Arkansas, because they haven't discovered the internet there yet. <laughs> my grandmother, who's 70 years old, she even has a Facebook page, and she makes it a point to get on there and like a couple comments every day. And it seems as though the stalker rate in the United States has went up by about 99% as well. I have to admit, I'm in that category. After all, that's what Facebook is for, right? For stalking? Well, if it's not, then why else are you telling me what you bought at Victoria's Secret this weekend? Or why are you checking in from your bedroom with someone of the opposite sex, and then seven minutes later checking out? I wonder what was going on in there. You've got every place you've worked, every school you've ever went to, every place you've ever eaten, you've got your phone number, you've got your full name. Heck, I could write a biography without ever seeing your face. With all that being said, it makes you wonder how we ever survived without Facebook. I guess you probably had to email your friends to tell them. Just so you know, I'm now single. Instead of telling the whole world on your status update, but that's kind of lame, because that means you missed out on that hot chick from high school who's in her bikini on Facebook. And I guess if you wanted to go to dinner with one of your friends, you actually had to pick up the phone and call them instead of sending out a mass invitation on Facebook. But that sucks too, because that means you never got on there to see the 38 friends on there that posted, It's snowing after a three-day snowstorm. Now, thank you guys very much, because my house doesn't have windows, and neither does my car. So if you wouldn't have told me, I probably would have froze to death. And finally, without Facebook, I guess we actually had to get up off of our asses and feed our fish and water our plants and go to the bathroom for ourselves instead of a simulation you. And that really sucks too because that means you actually have to wipe. Remember, if you are friends with your dad, your kids, your mom, or your grandma and you don't want them to see you naked, don't put it on Facebook. We all like to be funny and talk bad about bald people and fat people, but watch who you're calling fat, man. She's my aunt. Sure, sometimes you see someone got dumped, and although you were extremely happy inside and you think this may finally be your chance, give it a couple days, or you may ruin that chance forever. Now, if you can't spell, use spell check, and if you have autocorrect, turn it off. Enough said. Finally, the police do have access to Facebook too, but jails don't. So if you like using it, don't try and sell your drugs or sex on Facebook. Alright, so if me and you aren't friends on Facebook and you're watching this right now, we better become friends because I want to stalk you too. But if you want to stop me from stalking you, just change your profile to that new timeline thing. I hate that. The minute I click on somebody's profile and they've got that timeline, instantly out of there. I don't even care what you're doing. I don't care how juicy it gets. I'm out of there. Timeline sucks. All right, that's enough for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching as always. Have a great day.